Hello, Saints Nation, and welcome as we get to, well, week two, even though it's a bit delayed here, of the 2020 fall campaign for Statesman football. Coach Todd Hafner, glad to have you back. It's Thank you, yeah. been a bit of a bye week that was not really foreseen, but here we are in this COVID world, and the game against Central Methodist is set for this Saturday. How's the team looking, and how's the team feel? Talk a little bit about the morale of the troops here as they've had a week where they've had to kind of go with the flow. Right, and, and, and I think that's exactly the best way to put it is, you know, you just never know. I mean, it, it's Thursday, and um, we could get a phone call tomorrow, and, and something could go crazy. But, you know, last week was disappointing. We really thought that, you know, we were going to be able to play again. Um, when we got the call Sunday, we, we scrambled around to try and find a game. and uh, But but in the end, we just weren't able to make it work. And um, Practice last week was a little bit lackluster. You know, it was it was the kids were disappointed. I, you know, they want to play, but um, we came out this week, started on Monday, and, and to be honest with you, we've had a great week. Our kids have really uh, picked up the tempo again, and, and I, I think, for for lack of a better way, is they they're in game mode. And so, um, you know, we sure would like to make this routine. You know, to be able to have our Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday routine set, um, and, and I think we're getting closer to that with. Uh, with the way things look in the conference right now. So um, hopefully things stay the same. We're ready to go. And, uh, you know, hopefully we go out and have a good practice tonight and uh, finish the week off. So before we get to the exact preview of Central Methodist, let's start with a little bit of acknowledgement to Jason Hugelbauer, who got his oh, award man. there. And I know you provided a quote for the article. We'll talk him up a little bit here. Oh, gosh. I mean, there, there's not enough time to talk him up. I mean, he's, he's done so much good for – well, for our program, obviously, but we're talking about for William Penn University. We're talking about for the community. Um, he's working, doing an internship at Musco, and they love him down there. I mean, Jace is just, he, he's just a great kid. He, he really is uh, the type of player that, that every coach dreams of coaching. You know, you know he, he never misses a meeting. He never misses weights. He never misses class. He, he never misses practice. He's always prepared for games. Um, and, you know, to, to, for, for him to receive this honor, um, it, it's something very special. I mean, one of 22 football players in the whole country mm -hmm. uh, receives this honor, and he was one of the 22. And uh, it's very deserving. Uh, don't don't take anything away from that. He deserves this award, uh, just like the next next guy, and uh, um, one of those people that are going to be very successful in life. Then we'll keep it on the defensive side. Take us through what Central Methodist is going to do, and obviously a little bit of sadness coming from that first game against Midam with Colton Horag going out on the first play, yep. and who you're going to look for to step up in his place. Well, um, you know, we're, we're hoping to get good word on Damon LaShaw. He's, he's kind of been waiting th through the NAI for the play NAI and through one of the schools that he didn't go to, but it, it showed up somewhere. But anyway, so we're hoping to get him back, and that would be, you know, a quality replacement for Colton. Um, but, you know, we're, we're, we've had a great week. Um, Coach Norberg's really got a good plan together. Uh, they're, they're a good football team. They, they like to spread the ball around to many different players. Um, they do have one dynamic receiver. He's a two-time All-American that um, we'll have to know where he is at all times. Uh, their quarterback is a, is a first-year player, but he's a transfer, so he's played some. And, uh, uh, you know, we got to watch their game against Graceland last week because we weren't playing. And, and you could see that, that they were very, very talented on offense. You know, they scored 28 points right out of the chute. Um, and then just kind of put it on cruise control from there. But uh, th they're dynamic. They can score in a hurry. Uh, so we'll have to be on our toes, and, and we'll have to get to the passer. I, I think the biggest thing that, that we may be able to do that some other teams can is I, I think we can rush the passer and hopefully get him off his spot, make him throw it a little bit before he wants to, and, uh, and maybe we can even cause a few turnovers. That'd be all right, too. Speaking of turnovers, hopefully in practice we have – cleaned up the fumble plague that wow. started out down there in Olafa a couple weeks back and how's the offense looking and what are you looking to do against this Eagles defense well I think we're we have addressed the the issue for sure um, you know it's it's one of those things that it almost got comical there toward the end because you're looking at guys that hardly ever fumble the ball like Alex and, and Ben and you know those guys don't they, they take care of the ball as good as anybody we've had but uh, you know, we just need, need to be more conscious of it, you know, know that there are people around and they're going to be trying to get it out. And, um, but we're going to attack. I think that, you know, we're probably going to have to attack a little bit more through the air. Um, we've, we've spread the ball, done some different things to, uh, over these last couple of weeks to try and help us with that. Um, 
you know, because they're good. They're good up front. They have uh, two really good. They have a really good defensive end and a really good outside linebacker. And um, you know, they they lost some good players off last year's team, but they've seemed to have replaced them with guys that are just as good, if not better. And so uh, we'll have to be on our toes. We'll have to know where everybody's at. Um, and we'll have to get quality play out of our quarterback, which I think we will. So you traveled down there last year. The lightning caused us to end in a tie coming out of the halftime break. Final overall thoughts about this game against the Statesmen and the Eagles. Well, I, I think the, the two teams are very well matched up. I, I think this should be a very good football game. Um, you know, we went down there two years ago and they put it on us pretty good. We were tied at halftime here uh, last year when when all lightning broke loose and the storm came, the storm yeah. came, and it wasn't going away either. Yeah. And so, um, so you know, who knows? I mean, it ended probably right where it should have at that point in the game last year. Um, but we'll we'll need to go down and play well. We'll have to again take care of the football. You know, hopefully we can. I, I think you know one of our goals this week is to to be on the plus side of the turnovers. So let's let's really do our best to to get to the passer. Let's try and make him throw it in a hurry. Um, and, and let's cause some let's cause some turnovers and then take care of it ourselves. So I think if we can do those things, I think we'll be in good shape. Um, but you know, it's a little bit of a bus trip. We're going to go make that bus trip on Saturday and, uh, and and go play well and hopefully come home with a victory. That's right. Well, States and Nation, stay tuned to Twitter as well as statesmanbucks.com. Follow them down on the Central Methodist Athletics website for live stream, live stats, and all of that. Coach, before we let you go, we we're hoping that you get a win. We'll be rooting you on. And a quick update, how is Coach Hafner's team doing in the staff fantasy football league? You know, I'm hanging in there. I won the first week. Um, if my kicker would have gotten one more field goal this week, I would have beat Coach Bull, Ooh. beat 2-0, and lost by two points. Oh, you hate dreadful, to see it. Dreadful, dreadful. Yeah, but, uh, but my team's in good shape. Fortunately, none of the major injuries were any of my guys, so hopefully uh, so I can hang in there. That's right. And <laughs> shout out, I beat you, Coach Norbert. <laughs> anyway, that will do it here. We'll see you back next week for what will be a week three preview.